Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Oh my gosh, guys, eight days to go. Eight days. I'm sorry, I'm holding the stick on the other side for the camera, so. Eight days to go to Utah, my mom and I, for, well, five days, really. Mm -hmm, four, maybe. You got traveling days on either end, so it's kind of like in the center of everything. But looking forward to so going. I am just running around with a chicken down my head, really. I have so much to do. Today, I am trying to motivate myself to go outside to go as pest control outside of the house, spray the house down with the pest stuff so we don't get bugs. Um, that will probably last probably about five months. Um, just because it's supposed to last up to 12, the stuff I do use. But, you know, we're in Florida. The sun bakes it off. We got all the rain. So, yeah. Just have to stay on top of that. Don't want anything going on while I am gone in Utah. So, my mom is cooking my dad's dinner. She's making another stuffed meat. I am, like I said, motivating myself. Sorry there hasn't been a vlog the last three days. I have had another massive migraine. Um... I seem to be getting a lot of them lately as it's coming closer to going to Utah. I think that's just st my version of stress because I do. I also get very um, strong anxiety. Um, but believe it or not, my anxiety goes away once I hit um, through security. Once I get through security and got my bag checked, which with Delta, it's always great because we do sky priority because we're first class. My anxiety just like it goes, whoosh, like just water washes away. Um, just because I know I have a lot of things to pay attention to. I have my camera gear. Pay attention to that. So, as for that, I am very excited. I just have a lot of stuff to do. Next week, you'll see me do some food cooking um, because I don't leave my, my dad without no food. My mom will probably prep the Pepe's food. We'll be doing a lot of secret packing because we can do it behind the gate, the fence over here, curtain back to there so that the puppies don't catch on, even though they do. But we'll probably do that like the night bef day before we go. That way it's not too much. Plus I need to keep vlogging with you guys, so I still need all my camera gear. Um, probably that Thursday you guys will not see a vlog because I really prefer my bag to be fully packed. So Friday, if I'm lucky, I will try and get something um, prepped on the plane. Or while I am waiting to board the plane. Um, we'll see how all that goes. Um, I try to get there really early. So I have at least a, like a two hour window at the gate. I prefer to be at the gate. Versus running to the gate. Especially when you got a wheelchair. So. Pray for us. But anyhow. So I have to do that. Then I have to take a shower because I got to get the piss stuff off. And then I'm jumping over all this, guys. I am so sorry. Today my mind's going. Duh, 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 duh. So as it's coming out, that's what's coming out. Um, I have to go to Walgreens, get medicine, and then I might go over to Popeyes. It's a little bit of a ways from here. But my mom and I were watching uh, Men's Try. I don't know if any of you've watched it. Um, there's he's also does a vlog with his wife, Jess Austin and Jess. And then Birch, I think it's Birch Life or Birch Fam, something like that. Um, which is the other guy who does, the, um, I think his name is Cameron. But um, they do a vlog together and they did Popeyes last night. And my mom and I have been in the mood for Popeyes for a couple days now. So I might make a run, especially since Mother's Day is on Sunday. She doesn't want anything, so I think I might get her Popeyes. So, also Popeyes was my grandfather's favorite chicken favorite biscuits they finally had opened up one in new york really close to him and hmm, i would always pick it up on the way from the airport so that would always be lunch or dinner depending on what time our flight came in so he loved the biscuits uh, me and him would sit there with the biscuits and mashed potatoes and sometimes we would put it on um sometimes he would even put some red beans on it so but anyhow guys i am stalling i gotta get going so i can do this so come along with me and see what my daily routine is for today hey guys so i'm in the car as you can see i have finished spraying the entire house which was great I'm so happy i got it done like i said i am heading over to Popeyes first because it's further out I am hot I did take a shower 
did not get in the car after spraying because I did get a lot of overspray. I killed two more wasp nests, by the way. I was going to film while I was outside doing that, but unfortunately, well, the camera didn't record. Sorry, guys. I thought I hit the record button, but apparently I did not. So, it is 4.17. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I am going to go straight. The reason why I'm going to go straight is because if I turn at this light here, guys, um, which you guys can't see because I'm ta talking to you, um, there's two school zones. But I'm thinking I might have should have turned because it's actually much later than what I thought it was. Four th it's 4.30, so middle school should be out by now. Well, it's too late to turn because, well, there's a line. So let's head over to Popeye's and I'll see you guys when we get there. So I'm finally up here at the window and we're gonna go get um our Popeyes. Just waiting to pay the gentleman. And go from there. Hopefully they make the order right. I really made it simple. Yeah. Drums and thighs. Drums and thighs. Hot, mild two rice and beans and two mashed potatoes so we'll see how close they get the order okay guys i'm still waiting i did run inside to just see because you can do curbside pickup but then you can't specialty order um so he told me about another five minutes that was about two minutes and something seconds ago um i was talking to my dad he's doing an irrigation job right now and Sometimes to process, he has to call me to talk out loud. So that's what we're doing. If you're wondering how my blister held up and cleaning everything, let's see. You guys could see a little bit. You could see the little pick right there. But otherwise, it's pretty good. It got a nice little wash. I've been putting tons of Young Living lavender on it, so I think that has helped. I have a yellow battery. I only thought I was not going to need an extra battery. I should have brought the extra battery, but, um, yeah, so I'm just sitting here waiting, he said about four to five minutes, so I'm going to guess, I'm going to give him about eight, because there was two different chickens going, you know, but, um, yeah, the line has definitely, well, I can't say the line died down a little bit, because I can't see the other side of the store, really, honestly, so, but, just sitting here waiting, but I'm excited. My mom is going to be really surprised. Um, I hope she will be. But, um, yeah. So, that's the case, guys. I'm just going to sit here and wait. Then I'll pick up my dad's medicine. I was going to run to the bank. But the bank is a little bit, like, out of the way. So, I might save the bank for tomorrow. And in the meantime, I think I'm just going to work on some of my postings. I'm trying to get more tags on to my other channels. Oh, gotta go. Or you guys can stay here. Okay. I'm so sorry about your wait. I do apologize. Be right back, guys. Hey, guys. So, as you saw, I just picked up the food. He was telling me that he didn't want me to have cold chicken. So, that was the case there. He What he did was he had the hot one, the hot, the spicier one, he had that ready in the legs and thighs that I wanted, but unfortunately, <laughs> he didn't have it in the original. So, he says, by the time you would have waited 14 minutes for the, um, the original, your hot, the hot one would have been cold. So, anyhow, 
we are now heading home. I'm gonna stop at Walgreens on the corner right by our house. Sorry guys for the visor right in the way, but otherwise I wouldn't be able to see the road. Um, yeah, pick up my dad's medicine and then head home. My dad is still at the job site, so which I told you guys that already um, a few seconds ago, but I was just recapping in case you skipped forward a little. But yeah, it's about a, I would say about a 15 minute ride home. And I'm gonna flip you guys so you guys can actually see a little bit of the traffic because this road here is Highway 50, which literally runs straight through downtown Orlando. So if you're familiar with looking at the map for Florida, you see Orlando, this road goes directly through there. And now you got everybody who has been going back to work um, coming home. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry I didn't vlog anymore afterwards after I got home. We actually ate our food right away. It was still actually pretty hot. Um, even after, I, you saw me stop at Walmart real quick. I stopped over there to pick up beer for my dad. So that way he didn't have to do it. He sounded like he was starting to get heat strokes. So I just didn't want him to have to get in and out. Plus it was really crowded. Plus he had the truck and the long trailer. So just easier for me to run him with the minivan and go get that. So that's what we did. Then I stopped at my dad and then I came home. We ate and probably like 20 minutes after we finished eating, my dad came home. Me and him would just finish playing ball with the girls and now we're just gonna relax. I think he's gonna go lay down and if that's the case, my mom and I will be on YouTube watching our favorite people and if not, we'll watch regular TV shows and then when he goes to bed, we'll watch our favorite shows so anyhow i hope you guys have a wonderful day night depending on where you're watching this from and don't forget to come back in eight days for our trip to utah i hope you guys have an amazing whatever day part of the day it is for you and i'll see y'all next time see ya